contrast it with space and emptiness and lightness. So every sculpture is a dialogue between space and mass and line because your eye has to follow a line, talks about the space that it encapsulates or, or describes. Line also gives a sense of time because it takes time to follow a line. But it's a different kind of time to the time where things move. It's just the time of stillness which is a kind of eternal moment that you can revisit and revisit um, in a way that the rest of our life is constantly transforming and moving and changing. The beauty of a sculpture is you come back to it and it's exactly how it was, or almost, minusculely, if at all different, than the last time you saw it. So it has an eternity about it. Again, it kind of taps into the really fundamental aspects of being, mass, time, and space. When you because it's where you're going to join them up, where you're going to lace them up. You're going to pull out the best them. ones, the ones you like, yeah. and hang them up here. Oh, thank you. And so after that, hands on. We make an assembly of the film, and that is cutting pictures to live side by side so that each of those pictures has a new life and that's exactly what you do with sculpture in the way I work you put two shapes together and a new life is born out of that interaction it's a kind of montage uh, it's also physical in the same way I mean film we we tape it together in with my sculpture we weld it together but it, it, there's not that much difference <clears throat> um, you also have to be very sensitive in editing film to what it's saying to you. you. You can't tell it to be a certain way. You have to allow each shot, each frame, each moment to tell you how long it needs to exist before you cut to the next moment. And uh, with a sculpture, the size of each shape in relation to the others is a very similar principle. I mean, I think I took to editing after being a sculptor really easily because the process was already in my head. And I all, always feel very free in the editing room, not necessarily to stick to how the shots were originally planned, but to look for what the shot has to offer so that I can put it next to the next best shot in the way you do with sculpture. And it may not be the way it was designed in the script. I'm finding the more I have exhibitions, the less um, I respond to exterior things, the less I respond to people's responses to my sculptures or um, I'm kind of more calm and more centered now and uh, I just continue to let out that thing inside which is clear to me. Uh, my favorite artworks by anybody are always the works that where I feel like the artist is uh, exploring something for themselves, not even exploring, stating something for themselves. Um, I remember a wonderful quote from Tarkovsky when he said, people say my films are experimental. He said, I'm not experimenting, I know exactly what I want. <laughs> they, um, I just do it and they look experimental because they different to other people's films. They're different to other people's films because he's doing exactly what he wants. And if I do exactly what I want for myself, then I'll create something unique because it's coming from inside. 
and um, I think it's important for people to see as many examples of other human beings being in conversation with themselves so that they can learn to do it themselves, be have a relationship with their own internal working. So I don't think my next exhibition will be affected by this last exhibition. I'll just sit down with the material, the fabric that I use and find myself or find I don't mean it in an egotistical way, myself is not that important, but the fact that it's uh, an honest response, personal response to the material means the work will have character. It's very hard to get people to say anything very much about your work, but the first time that happened I was devastated. When I was a student and I had my first exhibition, I never felt so lonely in all my life because I realised no one there really understood the journey I had been on. And um, so every work of sculpture to me meant a great deal. <laughs> and I could see uh, they didn't. I mean, people liked them. People said they liked them and they bought them, they enjoyed them, but they hadn't lived through the journey that I had in creating it, and that made me feel lonely. boil it down to the thing I like most about sculpture, the one thing that I think it expresses differently and better than any other art form is we are here, we are now, we are mass and we occupy space. It's a long sentence, but to me that's what sculpture does best.